Uh, the Federal Parliament has now unanimously, both Chambers of Parliament said that they want a Royal Commission into veteran suicide. It is going to happen. It should happen. It should have already been announced, but Andrea Crothers has the details of what happened in Canberra today. And then I want to highlight one of the speeches that genuinely moved me uh, in a way that very few politicians have been able to do. More in a sec. But uh, here's uh, Andrea Crothers. After putting their lives on the line to serve the country, the fight back home is on Parliament's doorstep. We need to draw a line in the sand. We need to go back and dig up all the systemic failures. A motion pushing for a Royal Commission into veteran suicides was unanimously backed by the Senate last week. And on Monday, those calls heeded by the lower house. But the vote itself is merely symbolic. Almost there, okay. Establishing a Royal Commission requires a Cabinet call, not a parliamentary one. And we will now move to carefully consider the views of the, par of the Parliament. How about he support the motion and support what the Parliament is asking for? Now, there are many speeches in all of this, and there's absolute due credit for Jackie Lambie, who would not take no for an answer. She would not accept what the uh, initial offerings were on this, and she's been able to get the entire parliament behind her and almost an inevitability of this thing happening. But Philip Thompson is uh, a man who served this country. He represents the garrison towns of uh, Townsville, the seat of Herbert, up there in Queensland. And this is what he had to say in a speech that was unbelievable today. I don't want to bury any more people. I don't want any more mums, fathers, brothers, sons and daughters to bury their family members. I don't want to get a phone call at 1am and saying your mate's died. I wouldn't have to call my wife and say the same thing either. Because if it, it doesn't, the, the effect doesn't ever stop and the pain never will. We're, we, and I say we, I mean, you know, to speaking to my veterans on my, this side of the house are in support. And they sit here, some of them sit here with me today. We'll support you. We'll, we will do what is right. Richo, um, I don't understand why this hasn't been announced when the inevitability of this seems very clear. But uh, Jackie Lambie deserves some fair income credit here. It's not somebody that I'd normally line up to high five, but on this... No, uh, huge credit because she, she's like a dog with a bone. She has stuck with this and pounded away and pounded away. And I think you've got to give her the credit for the fact that that's happening. Yeah. Pauline, uh, you, you, One Nation was part of that unanimous decision to support this. Do you expect to get an announcement sooner rather than later? And what do you expect out of a Royal Commission into this? Scott Morrison had no plans of actually holding Royal Commission into the suicide deaths that happened within the military, and he still doesn't want to have it, to tell you honestly. It was, um, I supported a commissioner going into that position because Scott Morrison wouldn't have a Royal Commission, and I thought, well, give the commissioner a go. They dragged their knuckles with regards to it. It couldn't get up in the parliament at the end of last year, so therefore they've had time with it, and that's why I said, OK, you've had to go at, at the commissioner. It hasn't worked. You haven't passed the legislation to actually put the person in place. Only an interim commissioner, which I've heard hasn't been working. That's why I've changed my opinion about it, and I got behind having the Royal Commissioner, which our votes in, ensured it to go through in the Senate. So, um, and you're right, Jackie Lambie has, uh, you know, she's never given up on it. But I said if the, Royal, if the Commissioner didn't work out, I would always support a Royal Commission into it. Now, what is going to happen now is that the Morrison government sees writing on the wall. They have not supported this in full. They knew that there were going to be people that would cross the floor in the lower house. So what he's done now is wait and see if he announces the date, which may take quite some time.